All right, guys, so there's a post going around on social media claiming that New York is banning the use of firewood for home heating. So, are they? Well, uh, no, not exactly. Uh, Barack Obama, I think back in like 2014, passed a bill to um, reduce CO2 emissions by 85% before the year 2050. Um, and New York basically took that and made it their charter for climate change. And Andrew Cuomo, before he left office in disgrace, signed a bill um, called the Climate Protection Act or something like that. It doesn't really matter what it was called. But it basically took Obama's um, goals and made them New York's. Go figure. So. Uh, what its what its goal is is to reduce all CO2 or greenhouse gas emissions by 85 percent um, again by the year 2050 and I'm not sure where the wood burning uh, myth came from but obviously that could be part of it if New York wants to put regulations in place that limit the use of firewood that may be part of their plan to get to that 2050 goal but as of right now there's absolutely nothing um, in place that says uh, like the, the, the thing going around social media says by 2020 end of 2022 wood is not going to be able to be used to heat a home in New York now I have read that um, New York City is going completely electric uh, going forward and I think that's basically from here out if you build anything new all appliances have to be electric there's no longer going to be any gas for cooking in New York City for heating I've also heard that's the case for Ithaca New York um, very liberal area of the state uh, so I would had to read up more about those areas I don't really know um, enough about the that area to comment on that but I did read something that New York City is going to mandate or has mandated that any new construction is 100% electric. Now it wouldn't surprise me if New York includes some type of phasing out of wood burning by the year 2050 but right now there's nothing written that says you cannot heat your home with wood. So New York has already put regulations in place regarding outdoor boilers to try to limit um, where and how these go in and what type of boiler you can go in. Um, I know all the new boilers have to be the gasifier type uh, to cut emissions and I don't know if that, that might be a federal reg regulation, but um, it's certainly the case in New York. If this ever goes bad um, and I couldn't find one of these on Marketplace or um, Craigslist, used to put in here I couldn't go out and buy one like this from the dealer with, um, with none of the emissions equipment on it so um, so like I said New York probably at some point will try to put regulations in place to limit who can burn wood where you can burn wood to try to limit the amount of people that are burning wood but to basically outright ban the burning of wood in New York um, I think that'd be impossible. You've already got 120,000 people a year leaving this state because of regulations just like that. Um, the loss of liberty, the increase in taxes, the increase in regulations, and I just think it would create such um, an uproar, a mass exodus. It'd be like the SAFE Act where basically um, Governor Cuomo in the middle of the night uh, proposed a ban on assault weapons. Democrats passed it with no help from Republicans, no input from Republicans in the um, House and Senate of New York, and they created a registry for these rifles, said all assault weapon owners, assault weapon owners, needed to register these with the state. Now, before the bill was passed, they said there was, I don't know how many tens of millions of these assault rifles in New York State. And after the bill was passed, like two years after the bill was passed, 
only like 12,000 people had signed up for this registry to tell New York State that they had these guns in their homes. So um, you'd have massive pushback. You've got places like the Adirondacks, the Catskills, stuff like that where people are very far away from central utilities. Um, to get propane and stuff like that would be extremely expensive. It, it'd be cost prohibitive. It'd basically put them out of a place to live. And even if they could afford it, it would be to go from heating wood, which doesn't cost someone like me anything, to heat my home and my shop every year, um, to put in a system that could heat your house when you don't have any of that infrastructure in place and to start paying the utility costs for that, to run that every year, would be thousands of dollars a year and it'd be a tax. It'd be a tax of thousands of dollars a year for homeowners um, just because New York State says they can't burn firewood. So I don't see that happening. Um, that would be like the straw that breaks the camel's back, I think. But I just wanted to address the article that's going around on um, social media like Facebook, Instagram, um, and some blogs and stuff like that that uh, are saying that by the end of the year, the year 2022 you can't burn firewood anymore that's just not true anyway if you guys are interested i have a lot of videos uh probably six or seven videos on this boiler um or cutting firewood if that's your thing but um if you're interested in how i heat my house or my shop it's with this and uh i've got videos on that so check those out um no matter what whether it affects you uh directly or not even if you don't burn wood and, and your neighbor does or something like that always always try to protect your liberty because once it's lost you're never going to get it back and in new york state we don't have really anything left to lose um like i said there's been a mass exodus uh, out of this state for the past 10 years or so so um the people that stay here are the ones that get stuck with you know holding the bag we have to fork over the extra tax dollars for the ones that are smart enough to leave or um, in a position to leave and uh, we just, I don't see how this state survives another 20 years. I really don't. So, um, you know, you really got to start standing up and uh, fighting for, for what you, you feel is right and, and just for liberty in general. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And hit the like and subscribe if you don't mind. It really helps the channel out. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.